Yes, yes. Good afternoon, folks. We're at uh, yet another fun fair. We're cramming them in. Today, I'm down in Wordsley, which is, uh, well, is it the black country or isn't it the black country? You know, you talk to different people. Uh, some say it is. Some say it's not. I tend to think it's not. Um, it's in between um, a couple of towns called Kings Winford and uh, Stourbridge. Now, the black country was always known for uh, being where the coal seams were, and there were certainly no coal seams in Wordsley, uh, although it was very well known uh, in the late uh, 18th century, right up to about 1930, for its glass making. It was very famous for that. In fact, Stourbridge still is known uh, really well for its glass. I think they just call themselves Black Country here because they don't want to be called Brummies. But whatever it is, uh, it's Yam Yam Land. Any fans of snooker, they might know that uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan was born in Wordsley. Right, let's spin him round. Thomas Jones Fun Fair. This is on at uh, Easter 2023. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. I mean, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. It's really warm. Um, now, it's going to be on again um, the following weekend after uh, Easter. Uh, it'll be open Easter Monday, but it will be closed Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, which is probably just as well, because I think we're talking rain and gales. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, excuse me if I cough a lot, because I've still got this cold. We'll start off with a couple of geeky shots on this one. This lorry is um, the one that powers all the stalls. Ford Evaco. We'll take you upstairs in a minute. This is your old um, Leyland engine. Right, let's take you up. Nice and uh, nice and smooth. Now that um, engine is a Leyland 600. Now he got that second hand over 50 years ago. Never had an ounce of trouble off it. So let's start kicking off with the rides. Then we've got Thomas Jones's uh, Formula One Dodgums. We'll have a closer look at those in a minute. Just a few folks at the uh, burger bar, so I'll hang on there just for a second. Well, I'm just going to shake the camera in a minute while I just get sorted, folks. Bear with me. Oh, okay, so we've got Thomas Jones uh, Jr. Uh, these were built by Mardi Gras uh, in 2000. They always look older, I don't know why. Right, we'll just have a quick look at the uh, burgers. Now, if you watched, um, I don't know if it was the last vlog or the vlog before, um, I was talking about the uh, price of the onions. 
uh, that had uh, almost tripled. Well, it's not just the onions that have been uh, flying up in price. The cooking oil has doubled in price. He's just having a squirt on his uh, burger. Now, the prices on this one are uh, very reasonable, I'll say that much. A lot of places I've been going to just lately, we're talking about £4.50, £5 for a burger. But those stars here, £3.50 for a hot dog. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're trying to keep it sensible. She said she'd rather sell more and make a bit of profit. And I think that is the way to go because I have seen a lot of food being thrown away because, you know, it's not their fault. You can't blame them for hiking the prices up because they've got their overheads, but it's a double-edged sword. What do you do? Do you price it out of the market or do you sell it cheap and just make a bit? It's, it's one of them, isn't it? So let's take you in. Nice bit of uh, chips, there we go. She's off with the chips. Right, you got your onions. Toasting up quite nicely on there, we'll have that. Well, as you see up there, yeah, these prices are very reasonable. And she's got some nice bats as well. I'm not gonna lower the tone too early, but there we go. So you got all your cans of drinks and everything, so it's all on here. I think you can get your coffee as well. Hot chocolate, yeah, you can get your hot chocolates and everything. Again, very reasonable price. Only two quid for a hot chocolate, yeah, very reasonable. Yeah, this one uh, needs a shout out. Very respectable prices. What's cooking? Right, now I've done it right today, we're not going to have the sun in our eyes. Now we are on grass on this one, it is on a slope so all the rain that we had at the beginning of the week it's uh, drained off nicely. Yeah it, it's quite, it's quite firm underfoot so no problems here but just remember the weather forecast for the beginning of the week isn't very good so we might get a little bit uh, soggy on here again but looking at the um, looking at the ground conditions as you'll see under the soil it is actually quite gravelly so it does drain well on this one right chuck a few darts no leaning Oh, he's even throwing bloody darts at me now. Look at the state of that. Shall I have a quick go then, folks? Just one-handed. Well, you don't need two hands to chuck darts, do you? What you got to do, boss? You got to try and hit one of them envelopes. There, look at that. Nowhere bloody near. Oh, no, that was, that was a bit rough. I hit it and it bounced off the bloody... Uh, they both stuff the uh, drawing pin. Oh, there we go. Missed. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. It both stuff the bloody drawing pin. I watched that. Yeah, it could have been. You took the bloody dance at me. It could have been stuff and hit you. <laughs> right, let's move him round then. Let's go and have a look at a few more rides for you. Cheers, boss. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a look at the next one. Now, if I was a woman driving a car, I'd probably hit everything. Ooh. <laughs> right, <laughs> look at your ducks. There's plenty of ducks for you to go out here, folks. Cash only, thank you.
And I like a numpty, I've come out today uh, and I ain't put a bolt on. <laughs> I've been having problems anyway, my damn truth is falling down. So, if I stop and go loopy on this vlog, you'll know why. Uh, Aaron Bradley remix Miami, Nottingham, UK. Manufactured in uh, 2001. Seems ages ago since we saw this down at the mop fairs. We seem to keep on bumping into this one, but I uh, haven't seen it for a while. Is he gonna stick his two? Is he gonna stick his two fingers up? We got a bloody wave anyway. <laughs> Scream if you want to go faster. Right, you got a lifting paratrooper down here. Just a mini one. Right, another juvie ride coming up. Yum yum tours. Just for all you black puddings. Actually, I don't think they, uh, well, they do do black pudding down in the black country, but I think they're more known for the pork scratchings. I was down in the pub yesterday. My mate bought a packet of uh, Ray Gray's black country pork scratchings. It was a bit of a silly thing for him to just leave them on the table because I ate them all. <laughs> Odd luck, Tiff. <laughs> Right, chuck a few more darts. And a hook the duck combined. Sorry folks, my trousers are falling down. I'm gonna have to just jiggle around a minute. I can't believe I've come out without a bout. <laughs> she's watching me, she's laughing. <laughs> It's not easy doing it one-handed when you're trying to hold the camera. Cadoxton Engineering, the same make as uh, what Charlton Derry's got. Crazy Cage, James Squires, I believe. No, it's not. What am I on about? Squires had the uh, ghost train last year. That's not down here. No, this one's Aaron, Aaron Bradley's. Manufactured in uh, 1998. Let's just bring it around and you can see it's uh, all packed up and loaded, still on the wagon. James Squires, what are you thinking of, Ian? <laughs> yeah, we haven't got a ghost train down here this year. It's been a while since I did a ghost train. Come on, guys, get these ghost trains out.
won't get too close in on that one. You've got some, uh, like these uh, bumper car type rides for the kids. We'll quickly take him round and we'll have a quick look at the, um, the funhouse. Crazy jungle. Right, so the Crazy Jungle uh, is owned by Thomas Jones. Uh, it was built by Walter Murphy in uh, 2003. I don't think I've ever been in this one, so I might see if I can get in and do a POV later on, if there's no kids on it. Some fairly nice artwork on it. Well, there's no kids, just have a quick look at that. If you can see inside. Uh, you've got all these bars, you probably can't see anything, guys. We'll have a look at that one later on. Bunges. Smile for the channel, thumbs up for the channel. <laughs> Right, now this one we saw last week. This is the uh, Pollard Walser, that uh, Walser, Twister. Come on here, get your sh together. One of only four remaining in the UK. Quite bouncy as well. I uploaded the um, off-ride POV of this uh, yesterday. Oh, these bloody trousers. I'm going to have to start eating a few more burgers. Yeah, this was up in uh, Maidley. Up near uh, Telford. I think it was 1972. Come on, you like to ride empty seats, empty cars, you're fine. Yeah, Michael Thompson.
Right, I've got to try and fight my way through here somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, right, let's try and squeeze through by the side of the wall, sir. So. Oh, I never noticed this earlier on. You've got a flat runaway train here. I can see an adult in there, so shall I be daft enough to do a POV on it? I've never done one before. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna get through here, folks. I'm stuck. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's leg it round again. So, there's your uh, twister. Right, please pay in the car. on this. There's a set of mini waltzes down here. These belong to uh, Marcus Thompson. Don't see too many of these around these days, guys. We haven't got any teacups today, so we're gonna do what I've always wanted to do, and that's uh, spin the waltzers. There you go. And we're gonna end up with uh, Marcus Thompson's uh, waltzer, which is just by the side of me. Let's stop this uh, mini one spinning before I get into trouble. Good afternoon. <laughs> right, so Marcus Thompson's uh, waltzer. It's a bit of a mismatch, this one. Uh, it was a Lakin's waltzer. I think we've always had problems with this one. Uh, it's, it's got bits and pieces. Maxwell, Jackson. Yeah, it was a Jackson waltzer. Right, 
So we'll, uh, we'll take you in when these folks have uh, come through. Thank you. A message to you, ooh, ooh. singing don't worry about a thing. Every little thing's gonna be alright. It's certainly alright on the day today. Get down here, Wordsley. Into words, Lee. Don't worry. Right, okay, so I can have a sit down now and sort my trousers out. Thanks for joining us down in uh, Wordsley today. Just a small fair, but a very nice, pleasant atmosphere down here. And I've got the added bonus later on that I can uh, nip in and have a curry. It's probably the best. Uh, Curry House I've ever known. It's called the Crystal Balti that's in Wordsley. Only went in there last week and the Narns were huge. Loads of meat in the Cayman are beautiful. So yeah, looking forward to that later on. So it's Easter Saturday tomorrow. I'm uh, sending you all the best wishes for a very happy Easter. Do like and subscribe to the channel. We've got loads coming up this year, especially over this Easter period. We might even be going down to Paynton. Can't promise. It's all going to depend on what that horrible weather's going to do next week. So take care, folks, and uh, we'll catch you soon.